Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to continue with the um, kind of making the corset series. My name is Caroline, by the way. Um, I just wanted to like make some videos that were more like kind of really low key and just explaining the process where I get to the point of all, a lot of my other videos um, because I know like patterning was a challenge for me when I first started. So I'm just going through that. So check out my first video in the series. It's just me describing how I got to this point with the pattern. Now I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to make a mock-up. And then I'll show you the process of how I adjust the mock-up to get to then the finished garment. Now I did all this before in a previous um, video, um, like making an actual corset, an 1890s corset. You can check that out. I'll put it in the description below. But all of the things getting up to that point I didn't show. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do. Now I'm using a jean as a sort of material for the mock-up because I don't, um, the material that I use for the corset is called coutille and it's like a sort of heavy duty kind of cotton. I think it's cotton, but anyway, they used it historically for corsets, but it is kind of expensive so I'm not going to use that for my mock-up obviously. I'm going to use this old jean that I got at Joe Mann's for like $4 a yard or something or something or So I thought it'd be like canvassy enough to kind of practice. So here I have my pieces from the original video, I cut them out, I don't have, um, I didn't put seam allowances on them, so that's something I'm going to have to work with, but as you can see, these are the pieces. Now I'm doing it based off of this uh, diagram, and I'm not sure where to put the, um, what's it called, like grain lines, so I'm just going to go off of this, like how this, how these pieces are kind of spaced out, I'm just going to go like that for the grain lines. Um, I'm guessing that's why they were put like this, if not let me know in the description below. And then I'm going to add a seam allowance to these pieces, and then we're going to see how it looks. Um, I'll take it to the sewing machine and then we'll see how it looks. Okay, so I've placed them all around where I think they should be. Now, like I said, I didn't put seam allowances, so I'm just gonna make sure I add a seam allowance. I'm gonna do a um, quarter of an inch seam allowance around there. my kitten. She's got to check it out. So yeah, so when, when I get to this point, um, this is like the mock-up point, so we'll kind of see what the shape is. Um, my thing is not really like putting too much pressure on this point because it's not even the garment yet, and like, I'm not going to spend a million things. Now, I'm not one of the people that does a million and one mock-ups, so this mock-up is pretty much going to be the one. Um, I might make this into like a fun sort of garment, I'm not really sure. Sometimes I like doing that with the mock-ups, kind of making them into usable stuff, and this is like kind of a cool... Um, pattern. Now for this piece number three here, I changed it a little bit from the pattern just because I wanted my waist to be really nipped in and um, I kind of just cut this out a little more than I would have before and when I work on the mock-up I'm really gonna like make an effort to um, have that be a focus of mine. So um, like that was one of the, like my first corset that, that I did for 1890s, it actually, um, it actually is the right shape and it looks actually really good, like I'm really happy about it, but I don't know, like I kind of just wanted, wanted more of a dramatic shape, um, so like it does work, but like I said, I just want like more of a dramatic shape than that, so that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. We'll see how it works and like what I need to 
um, adjust and stuff like that. It's kind of interesting to work with the corsets. Um, so I think like making a more dramatic shape, even before you add the boning, you should be able to like see a dramatic shape. So that's what I'm hoping. I don't know if I'm gonna add the boning for this mock-up. Um, I've seen people do that, but honestly, it kind of overwhelms me. Um, trying not to be too overwhelmed with stuff. I feel like I was going really detailed on my tutorials and then it just left me in the point where it, like, I didn't want to make them. So, just trying to give you guys, like, a really calm tutorial. Well, it's not really even a tutorial. I guess it's just like a mock up kind of thing. Also, I'm using the uh, camera um, microphone, so sorry if it's not that great, but I just don't want to overwhelm myself, to be honest. Um, but I really like giving you guys content and stuff like that. It's fun to like hear feedback. So, yeah. Alright, so I have my pieces, and then we're going to just sew them up and see where we're at. Now, I'm going to sew the front one because, um, just to see the shape, like, obviously I would put a bust there, but... Um, I'm not gonna put the busk in yet. I kind of just want to see like where the shape is and I might finish it I'm just I just don't know right now Okay, see you soon Okay, so I sewed the panels I'm gonna show you guys where it is. I put like a mark down the middle of um, Like where the busk would go um, so Here's where we're at right now. And I just kind of put it on in the bathroom to kind of see where we were at. And it seemed to fit pretty good. And I do like with the shape of where it's going. Like everything seems to line up pretty well. And I do have the two inch kind of gap that I wanted. Now keep in mind when I do actually make it, this is gonna have a seam allowance. So there's that to keep in mind. But the overall shape is pretty good. Now kind of what I want to do is put some grommets in the back and then trim this and just put some um, kind of channels over it so I could add some boning to just make sure everything looks good and like it's the right kind of shape and if it does look good then I can move forward with the actual garment but so far it looks pretty good and then I'll try on the like sh I'll try it on with added the boning channels. I'm just going to add over top here. Um, some bones basically so all right so on to the next step okay so here I've just added the boning channels I mean they don't look perfect but they don't really have to be in here I kind of added this like bigger channel I'm just gonna put a wooden busk in to like kind of just mimic a busk because I don't want to like actually sew the busk because it's like work and then on the back, there was going to be more boning channels than this, but just to get, like, feel if the shape is right, I just added the ones at the seams. Basically what I did, if you can see on the back, was um, on this side, the seams were facing out, and I just placed these boning channels over top. And um, now I'm just going to put some grommets in, uh, grommets in, and then I can actually get a feel for if it's going to work. So let's hope it looks better than my last one. I mean, my last one was good, but I just want it to be cooler. This actually looks kind of cool. Like, maybe I'll keep this and use it for, like, a Halloween costume or something. <laughs> it looks kind of fun. Um, this is just, like, some scraps I had, basically, for the bowling channels. Because I didn't want to, like, actually make the bowling channels. So that takes a lot of work. And this is just supposed to be, like, a quick sort of thing. But... So far, so good. So now I'm gonna add the grommets and get back to you guys. Okay, so. Sorry for not wearing a chemise. Yes, it's not modest, but. Okay, so basically where I'm at is, I added this bone thing in because um, I wanted to um, kind of imitate a bus without actually putting the bus in because the bus was like a lot of work to put in. But it's still too small, like, because look at the back, I don't have the two inches, like, it's closing. Um, 
I mean, I, I do actually really like the shape. I think it turned out it turned out way better than my other one. Like it's actually giving me like a real shape this time. Um, I think I could squeeze more. Actually, I, I like this. I like the shape now. But my problem is that I want the two inches. Um, so like I could pull it in more if I wanted to. But you know, it's, it looks really nice considering that this is my first mock-up. Um, so, I mean, without the busk thing, here, I'll show you guys what it looks like without the busk thing. So here's without the busk thing. I mean, obviously there's going to be a busk, but it's kind of going to go over this, like, pooch right here. Like, this one flattens it. So it's going to give even more of, like, that sort of 1880s kind of shape. Um, so, yeah. Um, the boobs, though, I think it needs to be... I mean, maybe it, like, maybe it, I think all around it needs to be a little tighter, um, or smaller because of the back. Um, just maybe that if I cut down on the seam allowance, like, just cut it as it is, and then, um, like, do you not have a seam allowance, but another thing to take into consideration is that the coattail will not stretch like the jean will. Um, this does have, like, a decent amount of stretch. Um, not really, but considering... The coteal really has like no stretch. Um, here's me sort of, sorry for the immodesty, but it is a corset, so. Um, anyway, so I think it's pretty good so far. I just have to, um, and, and, I, and I do have even a little bit of room if I wanted to put some padding in here and make it even more dramatic. I could probably cinch in my waist more, but I don't want to like really hurt myself. Um, let me see how much my waist measures at. So my waist is actually like a 30-31. So let's see how small I got it. I got it down to 29. So that's what I originally wrote the pattern for. I made the, in the waist two inches smaller than what I actually measured my waist at, which is I put it at 31 when I did the pattern. Um, so, I mean, I like it so far. I think maybe one more mock-up. Um, I don't really want to spend all day doing mock-ups, but I wasn't really satisfied with my last corset, and I want this one to look really good and like, um, so... I wasn't really satisfied with my last mock-up. It just didn't give me like the really dramatic shape. I think I actually am satisfied with this one. It doesn't really hurt. I just want the two inches. I just, I don't know, like maybe if I did the seam allowances off. I really don't want to do another mock-up, but I guess it's like necessary. I think this looks really great though, considering um, the first mock-up. Like, it looks pretty freaking good. Like, I'm, I'm really proud of myself. Um, so really, if you want at least a really great starting out mock-up point, I would really do the ratio thing that I did on the first video. Um, so check that out. I'm gonna put it in the description below, but it really works. Like, I, you know, and, and really, I didn't even really take the measurements that great. Like, I just kind of was like, oh, this is whatever, whatever. And it gives me a pretty good look like I'm quite excited about it um but I do want those two inches but then I'm like will the coteal not stretch because this is jean this does have stretch um and also the way I cut it like I didn't really even cut it in any certain way like on the bias or whatever so but I think this will look really great if I wanted to do like a nice um fall down with it um yeah so I'll probably do one more mock-up I'm like should I do another video of the mock-up or is that boring um second mock-up like is that boring um I'm probably not gonna do a video of the final one just because I already did a video on me making a corset and it's the exact same thing I did but it's just a different pattern now I'm like, should I have the, should the boobs be more, like, pushed in? Like, maybe I should make the boobs just a little smaller. You know? Just to... 
I don't want to be really, really squeezed. Like, it can already, it's already affecting me a little bit. I have my air to breathe, but like, this is kind of squeezing. I know everyone's like, oh, yay, corsets are great, but they do restrict you in some way. Um, just putting that out there. Um, it's not, they are restrictive. It's not like they're not, even if you put it to your measurements. And you always want that extra little snatched waist. So don't say that you don't want to make it tighter. Um, but anyway, uh, like I want to be able to be comfortable, you know. I mean, I can put padding in to also get the silhouette. I mean, I'm comfortable right now with it, but I just want to look like really snatched, I guess, is what you would say. But like maybe the boobs would just look more... Sorry for showing all this boobage, but it is a corset. And I'm like, should this be up higher? Like, no, because I don't want to dig in a man. Okay, anyway. Um, so I'm probably not going to do a video on the final corset if I do. Um, I might do another video on the second mock-up. Not sure yet, but we'll see. See, it's giving me like the belly pooch thing that is popular in the 1880s. So I think it's... Working basically when you're in the corset, it just redistributes all your fat. Basically, so like the fat that is here was just pushed down. <laughs> um, not that I'm fat, but you know what I mean. Like all the bits get just pushed around. So, um, yeah, I definitely want the two inches. I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna do another mock up just to just adjust the seam allowance to see if that helps and gives me my two inches. Um, and then I'll actually need the final one, and, um, I'm gonna do that at a co-teal, so. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I forgot to, like, mention, like, after I showed the thing that I was, I put in the... Anyway, okay, oh, this video is not confusing. I'm trying to just have less uh, produce videos for a little bit just because I got really overwhelmed with the uh, producing them and uh, I just was so overwhelmed with it. Um, so I just like got kind of pooped out. So now I'm just trying to like just roughly show you guys what I do. So I hope it's helpful. If it is, please write a comment and say thank you because <laughs> that would mean a lot to me but thank you so much you guys for watching this i hope it was helpful um my i hope my my stuff makes sense <laughs> i don't know um and just give me you know give me a comment if it was helpful give it a like give it a, give it a subscribe i really appreciate that and um it's been a year since i started my channel so i'm really happy about it um i've been like consistently doing it for a whole year and i got monetization so thank you guys so much um, really that was just like a big milestone for me because I was just trying to get monetization. Like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> I think I made like $30 so far, which is pretty good. Um, like, I had like a, I've had it since COVID, so, uh, so I made like $30 in a month or something. I don't know, which is cool. So I'm really happy about it. So thank you guys so much for all your support and everything. All right. See you in the next video. If I do, if I don't do a video of me making the final corset, I'm probably just gonna put a uh, thing on Instagram of it, or I'll showcase it when I'm making like a fancy gown. I want to make like just a really fancy ball gown. Just, I'm just like everything is getting to me with all like the like sort of drama, not drama, but just the state of everything. Um, like everything on the news, you know, death blah 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 it's really getting to me lately so i think i just want to make a really beautiful gown just to celebrate some beauty in this world and just to just see some beauty um there's really no other reason than that you know sometimes like symbolically you just need to see a beautiful thing it doesn't really it's important to see those things too so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a lot of flowers on it it's just gonna be really pretty so that is what i'm going to do next so I hope that will entice you in some way. Um, anyway, I've babbled on too long now, but anyway. All right, guys. Bye. Thank you.
Okay, so here is the final thing. Like I finished it. Sorry, I just woke up. That's why I sound weird. But um, I just finished it. So you can see from the mock-up to this. All I did from the mock-up was I um, made the seal allowance a little bigger, like by like a quarter of an inch. Um, so that's what I have. I think it looks pretty good. I didn't really get the full two inches, but like I think it it's all right. Like I don't really care that much. Like the shape looks really really nice. This is like exactly what I was going for with the shape. Um, I wanted it to be just nip in, and I also added this like band if you can see it, just to um give it a little more support because I saw it was kind of pulling on the mock-up so I added this band. Now I also added the cording that was in the um, what's it called? The actual thing. Like how I did that was I did all of the pieces separately. So um, the first piece like I added the cording and then it was like popping out this seam and then I added this side seam on top. Um, so like I said if you want to see like how I actually made it I literally did the same thing I did for my last corset, like how I physically made it. Um, and that is, I'll put it in a video link below. Um, but I think it turned out pretty good. And I, I even have some room for like padding to like make it even more dramatic. It's actually pretty comfortable. Like obviously it's not gonna be really comfortable because it is constrictive. But um, the way that this curved thing, the curved spoon thing, it kind of pushes your belly down because really it's just redistributing your fat basically and your like flesh so this little spoon thing kind of pushes it down but it's like curved so I don't feel like restricted really here like I do feel a little restricted here um obviously because I need the waist go really in but like it, it's not really bad like it's not as even it feels the same as my other one which the design was more like straight the other one um more like a 1990s silhouette so now that i have this one done which let's see if i can even i can even pull it a little tighter make it more dramatic but i think i'll probably add padding to to make it even more dramatic so what i want to do is i want to make a fancy ball gown um like just a really pretty elaborate ball gown um, so stay tuned for that if you guys want to watch it um, i'm probably going to do like the patterning process and everything like that um, but anyway, so that is it. That's the final thing. I would really recommend doing the ratio thing because this was literally from the, the from my original pattern design. Like I had to make so small adjustments and um, I'm excited to try some other ones. Although like my hands started kind of hurting when I um, was doing the binding part. I don't know. And also I got kind of sick of it. Like, I don't know if you ever guys just get sick with like a project. Um, but I want to do like an S bend one too. Um, I want to do 1870s. You know, when I was looking at it, I was like, everyone's like, oh, they're so different. I mean, they're not really that, they don't look that different to me, honestly. Like this, the silhouettes. Like, oh, I'm so, like, burn me at the stake for saying that. But like, and when you think about it, you're going to be wearing a big skirt underneath, so it's like... Like, the one that really will make a difference is probably a good awarding one because it's more tight. Like, this one I thought I really needed to make because I wanted to make the silhouette with the skirt. Like, lower than the skirt, so I need the kind of the hips to show a little bit so that I do need to have this sort of curve. Whereas something like an 1890s thing, it's like, I really just need the least a little smaller so I can make the illusion. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, do the silhouettes really, and then I was looking at the, a lot of them, it's like, um, it's like they have different like options available, you know? And it's like some of them are like, not, like some of the options look like older options like it's like so I don't know but anyway so that is the corset I hope you guys liked it um I would really recommend my first video it really worked out well and I don't know should I diet or something not food diet uh, 
Um, should I dye it, like, color-wise? Maybe, like, a pink or something? But I kind of like that it was lighter. Because I could wear it on herself. I don't know. So my next kind of videos are going to be me making... I have to make, um, just like a... Kind of a softer, bustle-looking thing. Um, and then a petticoat with a bunch of ruffles on it. Like, I want to go for, like, natural form era ball gown. But, like, like, 18... 82 is like the look that I'm going for so that's like the straight down with the with the big train so basically I have to make a like kind of a smaller bustle and then I have to make a um petticoat with a bunch of ruffles so that's gonna be the next thing so stay tuned for that um but that's it all right thanks so much for watching guys bye